Coming up with an elevator pitch is really important, especially if you're going to pitch investors to your product. But it's also really helpful for keeping your team on the same page. In this video, I'm gonna show you an exercise that we walk our clients through for coming up with a really good elevator pitch. Hey, thanks for watching. My name is Eric and this is George. Were you gonna say your name? I just, it was like <laughs> impulsive. I just wanted to say how, hello. Hello, no, well, you can I'll say let, hello I'll, if you'll I'll like. let you introduce, you can introduce me. Okay, it's we're, lovely. We're, we're keeping all yeah. of this. All right. Uh, in order to show you, show you this exercise, I'm gonna walk George through uh, coming up with an elevator pitch for a product we've been working on here at Crema called String. So, just to be clear, George actually hasn't been through this exercise with me. This is something that we discovered last week, and today's the ninth or something, eighth or something like that. And um, I walked a client through it, and I really liked it so much. And I'll show you where in the description you can see the, the website that I got this. I believe it came from the Agile Warrior. Anyways, so George hasn't actually gone through this uh, with anybody, so this will be fun. It'll First. be a yeah. great it. thing yeah. for you. But we have an app called String, and we've been kind of coming up with different ideas for it, and we haven't sought investment, but if you want to invest, <laughs> anyways, uh, we're gonna come up with an elevator pitch for it right now. So it's pretty simple. You basically start off with a few of these words, and they just get a, a different part of your elevator pitch going. So we start off with four, and this should describe who your product is for, who, which is a little bit more about that customer. Uh, the, and we'll get into that, is a, this kind of describes what your product is, that, and then this is kind of, uh, you know, what it does. And then finally, unlike, and this is where you're gonna start differentiating your product from your competitors, we get into what your product is. So, George, come over here. We're gonna have to squeeze in tight on uh, the camera here. There we go. And uh, let's just start this with string. Where's my marker? Found it, it's right here. Okay, so let's just get going. So who is string for? Like what's the demographic? I think what we're going for is kind of young adults. Um, uh, probably more young professionals is probably even a more specific niche that we're starting out okay. with. Okay, do you have like an age range? I think that's probably from, I think what we say, uh, 20 to 35 is kind of the okay. target initial early adopters at least. Okay, uh, any could, gender? Um, uh, we think that it might skew a little more female. Okay, what about uh, device the preference? Or iOS like probably, because we're just expecting kind of a higher end market, and at least that's our understanding of how we might go at it, but um, it'll, I think it'll cross both iOS and Android. Okay. So we would start out here with and saying something like for um, women. Oh, I got it. Use A. So here's where we want to start getting into what does your application do. So what does String do? So the basic idea of string is that it makes a recommendation of what I might want to do this evening and um, it can make a series of recommendations. So not only the one place to go out and try something, but maybe uh, going someplace and then where would you go after that? Okay, so how do we get that down into yeah. something concise along the lines yeah. of like, is a uh, that's a great question. And that's, this, is where, this is where this becomes a little challenging is you right. have to get it down to something short. Um, I think that it's... Um, Ideally, it's going to end up being a, um, a chat, I want to say it's a chat bot is the okay. kind of the direction we're going. We want it to be a chat bot that recommends um, where I should go and what I should do okay. in that location. So I want to come back to the chat bot because I think that that's going to come into play down here uh, in our differentiator. So what if we here in is a, we say the string app is a recommendation engine yep. for planning an evening. I think that's great. Okay, so we'll write that down. Oh, better yet, I got ahead of myself. We could just say is a recommendation engine that helps you plan an evening. Okay, great. So where's here? I'll just use my hand. Now we're gonna get into differentiating string from its competitors. So who would you say a primary string competitor is? I think that the one that we heard from everybody was Yelp. Okay, right? so we'll just put Yelp down, unlike Yelp, 
our product does what? So I'm going to talk about it a little broadly and then maybe you can help me narrow okay. the focus down. Just so you know, unlike an owl product in this exercise is always the most difficult to come to. So don't get discouraged if it takes you a while to get to this. Yeah, I'm trying to, that, this is, this is honestly, this is tough. This yeah. is where it's, it's, it's hard to get it down. I think that it's our product um, through, through conversation, because I want to bring in that chatbot piece, mm -hmm. through conversation learns about your preferences and makes a single recommendation. So our product uses conversation technology or chat technology yep. to learn what you like yeah. and make recommendations. Yeah. Okay, so let me get down here. So, now we have it. We have four string for women ages 25 to 35 who use an iPhone. The string app is a recommendation engine that helps you plan an evening. And unlike Yelp, our product uses chat to learn what the customer likes and make recommendations accordingly. So it's a really simple tool that you can use. What do you think, George? Come back in here. What do you think? I think this is a really difficult process to go yeah. through. Um, it's been a bit especially it, in four minutes. Yeah, in four <laughs> minutes in a really quick uh, video. But I, I do think that what it what it forces anyone to do is to say, how can you say something in in the course of you know the, they talk about an elevator pitch is meant right. to be how can you explain your idea while we're going up the elevator? Right. right. And this allows me to have these words in my head of going, I can say it in one sentence. This is something even Crema we've had to learn how to do yeah. with our for ourselves. Yeah. Is how do I better say you know, that we're an innovation and technology company that does web and mobile design and development. You know, like, how can I say that in a very succinct way right. and then what differentiates that's from our competitors? It's, and it's a process of honestly training yourself that mm -hmm. language as well. And I think this is a great way to get it out. So I, I do have a question, and yeah. maybe if you want to bring this in or not, great. When, when should this happen? When should you do this? I think the way you do this is the moment you know kind of what it is you're, you're building, you, you, like maybe you have a lot of data, a lot of research pointing towards, um, you know, something that needs to be built, who your customer is, that type of thing. Um, the moment you have that information is when you should start going through this exercise to get it down to something very concise because they don't call it an elevator pitch for nothing. I mean, you've got maybe a minute and you need to be able to spout it off really fast. And again, working in a team environment, it's nice, like you can put this on a whiteboard, set it up with your team, and everybody has it to look at at every single time, and it's just a constant reminder. Is it okay if it changes? Yeah, in fact, it probably will change. The more you get into your application, in fact, once you get your product into the hands of this customer, I mean, this might change. This could change easily to, uh, you know, adults, uh, ages 30 to 45 or something like that. The more you get it out into the marketplace, the more likely this is to change. But as a starting point, once you've got some data about your product and, and the marketplace that it probably will fit, this is a good place to start. I love it, I think it's great. I'm, I'm excited to start using this in all of our, our strategy sessions. Yeah, me too. All right, thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with something great. I don't know what it is I yet, but I guarantee you it's gonna be great. Right. Do we ask to subscribe and like and comment? Oh yeah, you could do that. You yeah. want to subscribe? You know you want to subscribe. Yeah, subscribe for sure. It's like the, there's a button right over here, or maybe it's over here. I'm not really sure. Up there. But it could be up there. If know. you have any ideas subscribe. for anything else that you want to see us uh, create, ideas like this, um, that you want to learn more about what we're doing, drop us a comment too. We'd love to, to create the content you want to see. <laughs> Thanks for really watching. Yeah. Bye guys. Bye.